begin today with a reality check on some macroeconomic indicators which are relevant to your and my money. Less than two years ago, policymakers and economists in the country were almost sure that India could touch that magical double-digit growth figure. The euphoric mood has now changed. India's GDP growth could moderate to 8% and even below. The most optimistic of the lot are not ruling out the possibility anymore. And the reason is simple. Inflation has become extremely stubborn. Reserve Bank of India or RBI has raised interest rates 10 times in 15 months. Yet prices have not cooled off. The central bank may have no other choice but to raise rates further, making money or cost of capital expensive both for corporate India and for you and me. You and I will react by postponing our decisions to buy a house or a car and even go ahead and curtail other spends, which is actually beginning to happen. Corporate India will feel the pinch of this demand slowdown and with that, the rising cost of money that they need to run their businesses. There will be what's called a period of demand adjustment. In all of this, what will happen? The stock markets will bear the pain. So here's my take. You need to tighten your seatbelt and ride out this air pocket. Dig out a portfolio today. If you're loaded on stocks or equity mutual funds, make absolutely sure you don't need that money for the next two years. If you can't hold and ride out, hold. Equities will still make the most money in a three-year plus horizon, but ensure you have the stomach to hold. If you think you cannot digest a value erosion of your savings on paper, then move some of your equity money into balanced funds or cash out a little bit and move it into debt. Also, in the next three to four months, you will get corporate debentures and corporate debt offering you one and a half to two and a half percent more than bank FD rates. Look out for that sound corporate paper. And as we again say, gold. If it's not in your portfolio, bring it in. If you already have about five percent, you could look at 10 percent or so. Up until the clouds are cleared up, I would also stay away from big exposure to mid cap, small cap stocks or even mid cap, small cap mutual funds. I would avoid large-scale money commitments like a new property. And if I was hoping to get a better price for a property that I want to sell, I'm for now defreezing those hopes. My intention is not to sound like a pessimist bear. Seven or let's say 8% growth is not bad, but it's not good as 8% plus and 9% that we were aiming for or 10% that we were hoping or let's say even dreaming of. I would rather err on the side of caution and be prepared for any pain that's on its way. Now, let's talk money and move on to your specific questions this week. Our panel is Surya Bhatia from Asset Managers and we also have Suresh Sadgopan from Ladders. Both of them are A-class financial planners and will take your questions. First up, we've got Rahul joining us. Sir Rahul Agarwal from Nagpur on the phone line. Rahul, go ahead. What's your money question? Yeah, see, um, thing is that uh, from past one year, I've started my working. Before that, I was not uh, on a job. Okay. So my question is that uh, I'm having a salary uh, uh, of which I want to invest 50%. But what I'm thinking is, instead of uh, putting it in equity and all, mm -hmm. so better go for, a, uh, like, a, I'm having some uh, flat in uh, Nagpur. Okay. Like, I want to go for a flat in Nagpur. So is it feasible? Like, uh, is it a good option to go for a 50% uh, investment uh, of the money? And what's the kind of flat uh, that you're looking at? What would the cost be? Uh, it will be around uh, 22 lakhs. 22 lakhs. All right, Rahul, so I've just given a very long spiel on why you should not be actually buying a big property or committing big sums of money to property at this moment. Let me just uh, go to Suresh first. Suresh, what do you think? Just one year into a job, and uh, wants to get on to savings very seriously, considering a flat as his first option. Uh, yeah, in case of Rahul, uh, since he uh, since he has an expenses of something like 10,000 rupees, and uh, the only available surplus is about another 10,000 rupees, and he wants to commit the entire amount to that, that does not seem to be a very good option. Uh, considering that he is currently on rent, and uh, he has uh, probably a marriage coming up maybe two, three years down the line, and there could be other expenses which could go up. I mean, you know how the inflation is. You have yourself talked about that. So in that situation, I don't think uh, going for a flat is a great option at this point in time. Hmm. Uh, maximum, I would suggest that he should commit maybe 5,000 rupees if uh, his fa family can manage ba balance amount. Then he can contribute 5,000 rupees. But otherwise, personally, if you ask me, I would suggest that he should invest in equity mutual funds to start with 
and maybe other debt options if he is not very comfortable with equity mutual funds and then go ahead for a flat much later in life ndtv's cricket app android and iphone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps